Hi, I'm Jason Bodak for Boris FX, and welcome to the tutorial on the BCC11 VR unit. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how we can use the VR unit inside Blackmagic's DaVinci Resolve 14, and how that allows us some additional control when working with color and finishing on immersive 360 degree video. Now, Blackmagic DaVinci Resolve is a very powerful tool, and it has huge number of both resolve effects, color tools, and finishing tools. But because it does not natively support immersive 360 degree video as of version 14.2.1, it unfortunately breaks the seam and breaks the immersion when using a lot of the native effects. Let me demonstrate that for you. We currently have a nice clip here of a gentleman on horseback. And let's say we want to blur the entire background except for our subject. It gives us exactly what the clip looks like. I have the BCC VR Reorient effect on here as a preview effect, so we can take a look at how this is going to look inside the headset. But for right now, we're going to turn it to full, which just essentially gives us exactly what the clip looks like playing right back off the disc. I'm going to go to the first node, and I'm going to apply a blur to the entire image. I'm going to add a power window right around our subject, and I'm going to invert it so it's everything around him. I'll apply a tiny bit of feathering, and if I play this back, it looks pretty good. But let's take a look inside of our preview node. We can see that we are breaking the seam right there. If I turn this off, we can see that the seam is pretty much hidden in this image right here. But by using a non VR aware effect, it's going to break and show the seam. I'm going to disable that and turn off preview mode. I'm going to clear this node. And I'm going to replace the native resolve blur with a BCC VR blur, one of the five effects included in BCC 11's VR unit. Now I can do the same thing. I'm going to add a power window, invert it and we'll play it back. Again, it looks pretty much the same when we play it back in our window, but let's go to our VR preview. I go down to reorient and turn on preview. This was the exact same area that we saw the seam being broken before, and it's right there. But even though I have this blur up and I can go all the way up, it's not gonna break that seam. And that's the beauty of using a VR aware effect is that it doesn't break the immersion and we can color and finish without the viewer being aware that we're manipulating the image at all. They stay within the environment that we want them to be in because we don't want them to be aware that they're in a false environment that we're creating around them. And unfortunately, when they see a seam, that's exactly what that does. It, it reminds them that they're in virtual reality, especially if they're wearing a headset. Now we can do the exact same thing with Sharpen. I'm gonna turn this to full. And we have a sharpen effect that, surprise, surprise, sharpens up the image. Now it does the exact same thing as the built-in resolve sharpen. However, just like the blur, it's going to show the seam. So the VR sharpen allows you to sharpen your image without showing the seam as I showed you before. Now let's jump onto some of the more impressive effects. While we all like sharpening and blurring, it's a pretty standard move. But what if we want to fix something like flicker, which is really common for consumer and prosumer 360 degree cameras? Well, built into the VR unit, we have VR flicker fixer. Let's take a look at our next clip. Now here we have a stereo top to bottom clip that if I play back, we see has a little bit of an issue with flicker. Now, unfortunately, this is really common with all types of prosumer cameras, but we can quickly take care of this with the included VR flicker fixer. I'm going to drag this to this node right here, double click to get our open effect settings, and we have a couple of presets to help us out. Now, I know that Temporal Smooth YCC works well for this clip, but you can try the different presets to see which works best for your clip. We're going to go ahead and enable Temporal Smooth YCC. Now, if you play it back and you're not getting playback that is satisfactory for you, you can enable what's called smart render caching inside DaVinci Resolve. Now, while all BCC VR unit effects are GPU accelerated, working with immersive 360 degree video tends to be very computationally taxing on any computer because it's higher resolution than the average video. So one of the things you can do is go to playback, render cache, and turn on smart render cache. 
that's exactly what these blue and red things are right here. It's telling me what the status of the cache is. It just went from red to blue, which means that I can now play this back and expect real-time playback and evaluate my image. If I play this back, I can see that the flicker is significantly reduced. And that's our goal here. While we may not be able to get rid of it 100%, we can really, really improve upon it. Now let's take a look at our next effect, which is VR insert. Whenever you need to insert logos, text, credits, anything that needs to be added into an equi rectangular footage, you can't use a non-aware effect. We have a nice footage of a lake here. And let's say we wanna insert a logo right here, right in the bottom of the lake. So what we're gonna do is right click and I'm gonna add a mat. Now, how DaVinci Resolve works with mats is you need to make sure that it's imported. I've gone ahead and imported this mat already and attached it to this clip. And in the node graph, I'm gonna add mat and select my logo. Now by default, it comes up hooked up incorrectly. So what I need to do is select this, delete that connection. Once we have this link disconnected, I'm gonna add the VR insert effect and we can see that it entered something that we don't want. So how to set this up is we need to right click, add OFX input, and we'll see that it add another circle right there. I'm gonna bring this down and I'm gonna connect the circle from the mat to the circle on the OFX input. And now our mat is being inserted into our image. And if we look closely, it's actually being warped just a bit to fit within the equi rectangular image. Now, what I mean by that is it actually is being fit within the image to look correct when it is seen within a headset so that this logo will look exactly as the artist created it, meaning not bulging like this. Let's see what I mean by that. Now, built into the VR insert effect is a reorient, which is the same thing as a VR reorient effect. So I can actually preview exactly what this is gonna look like. So to a viewer in a headset, they'll see the logo exactly like this. But as we're editing it, this is how we see it. Now say that I want to actually use the VR reorient effect as well to straighten this out a little bit. I'm gonna enable input reorientation and I'm gonna level out our horizon just a tiny bit. And by just making a little bit, I'm able to sort of square it off and adjust the horizon. Now I'm gonna disable reorient because I wanna go back to actually working with the insert effect. Now I wanna put it right down here in the sand. Now I'm gonna reduce the scale a tiny bit and I'm gonna adjust the insert longitude to put it right about in the center. And here is a perfect example of how this is a VR aware effect. You can see that even though we see it right here, it's spreading it throughout the bottom and that looks really funky. But if we turn on the preview mode and look down, it looks exactly as the logo is supposed to look. I'm gonna adjust this just a little bit because I want it right in the sand there. Now it's integrated a tiny bit by reducing the opacity so it fits in with the waves. I'm gonna change the anti-aliasing to best. And we have some insert repeat options. What that means is it can repeat the logo throughout all four sides of the headset you can go the back and the front, you can go all sides, and you can go sort of in thirds. I'm gonna turn this on off because I just want it right here. Now this can also be used creatively for logos, for credits, for anything that you wanna insert within your scene to integrate. And it has the power of the VR reorient effect built into it so you can actually reorient your scene if needed to be while you're doing your insert. Now let's take a look at how we can use reorient on its own. I'm gonna change my clip and I'm gonna reset both these nodes and delete my second one. Now I'm gonna play a fresh version of BCC VR Reorient. And let's explore what we can do with the reorient effect. Now our subject is sort of in the middle, but not exactly. So what if I wanted to move him right in the middle lock on? I can do that. So let me open the reorient effect, give myself a little bit more room there. By hitting Shift F, I'm able to get into a much larger view that allows me to control both my open effects controls and see the image. Stabilize the horizon a little bit and move our subject to the center. Shift F to get out of that view. Now, if I play this clip back, we can see that our subject is right in the middle of the frame, exactly where we want him. I hope this has been a great tutorial and you've picked up a few tips about using BCC 11's VR unit inside Blackmagic DaVinci Resolve. I'm Jason Bodak for Boris FX. Thank you very much for watching.